Hello. My name is Charles, and I'm here to tell you about stress, a factor affecting can stress, especially emotional stress affect or even create back pain? This is one of the questions commonly asked by people who happen to experience such condition. We all know that stress is one of the main causes of diseases these days, especially emotional stress. So, when we are emotionally stressed out, our brain is sending signals to our body that there is an emergency and then, the body in return, reacts as if there is an emergency. After which, the blood pressure goes up, the muscles tense up, and that tension in the muscles over time, creates back pain. A lot of back pain comes from the muscles in the lower back and so. One of the things that benefit you along these lines is make sure you take time to relax your muscles. Having some deep breathing each day can be a great tip to relax your muscles in the lower part of your back. The stress-related back pain is psychosomatic or psychophysiological which means an illness in which physical symptoms are thought to be the direct result of psychological or emotional factors, leading to stress. Tension myositis syndrome TMS, as coined by Drive John Sarno, is a stress-related back pain people will feel an increased back muscle tension if they are under emotional and even physical stress. When the stress is resolved, the back pain, in the same manner, also ends. However, there are times when, even though the stress is gone, the pain still remains. This condition now becomes chronic and needs an ample care and attention. Same thing is also true with stress, especially emotional stress. The stress is not resolved because it is only hidden and buried inside the person's subconscious minds. This is now the starting point of stress-induced back pain. What are the possible solutions? Proper recognition of stress is the very main cure for stress-related back pains. The person suffering such condition should find all means in identifying the causes and reasons behind the pain. After which, work and do something to resolve some issues concerning the condition. When these are properly done, the pain will eventually come to an end. If you, as the patient, are aware of the things to do and not to do, then your doctors and physicians would no longer have any problems in helping you cure your condition. Remember, it always starts within yourself before you reach the peak of the healing.